Hey everyone, Ty Warner with Tyke Engineering and Kissoff Tech Support. Uh, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the integrated FEM evaluation in Kissoff. So this isn't a, a finite element analysis, it's a finite element method that we have in Kissoft. And uh, for 2020, they did some really nice things. They've had some updates come out. And I just wanted to show you some of the nice things they've done. In the past, we had to run the FE solver. Okay. We'd have to run that solver. Then we'd have to open up this program called Salome. And there was it was a uh, kind of an ordeal. Now, Kissoft has done some really nice things for us. And where the FEM solver comes into play here is if you're if you're evaluating maybe uh, here's a gear that's ground okay and you have a protuberance right here the blue line is the protuberance um, we're looking at gear one let me turn gear two off okay so here's gear one um, we're looking at the protuberance which is this gr this green line or the blue line so that would be a protuberance hob. And then we come back and we grind this on the green line, okay? And you'll note that in the green line, there's a, a a root notch, okay? So there's a there's a root notch in here that we want to look at for stress, all right? So in the past, we'd be able to go to calculation, turn our FEM two through stress on, and then we'd we'd have to to go in here and define what gear we're gonna uh, analyze. The boundary conditions, you know, how we're going to hold it, right? We're going to hold it like this. Uh, the mesh density, stress criterion, von, von Mises maybe, or maximum principle, whichever. And then we're going to do, we can either do a plane stress um, in a 2D, or we could even do a 3D. But we're going to do 2D here because it's a, a quick, nice slice, and we can look and see what this does to the gear. We can define the input load point. Otherwise, this is going to be at the high point single tooth contact. All right, somewhere in here. <clears throat> For this particular set, anyways, if we look at the basic uh, results, you can see we have about a 1.36. All this is grabbing this uh, cylindrical gear pair 9 in the examples. So in the past, we had to open this FEM viewer, figure out how to use Salome, and it was um, burdensome. Maybe you had to learn it. It wasn't necessarily intuitive. But now we just hit solve. Okay. The FEM automatically creates a mesh. And in the background, it's applying the loads, whatever those loads were. In this case, um, it's going to be applied at the high point single tooth contact location. And it's going to take maybe, maybe a minute or so to run. Not very long. And we're going to get a result. Okay, and then the, the results we're going to get, one, we're going to have a comparison to the standard. So if you use a, a gear standard, AGMA or ISO, here we go. So here we have the standard. This is a 30-degree 30, 30 tangent calculated with a tooth form. And here you have the nominal stress at the root, 116.82 megapascals. Uh, with the... The, the point with the greatest stress, it gives you the diameter, and it gives you the nominal stress, so 124.16. And then we have the point uh, with lowest stress. This is a negative stress, so this is going to be at a, uh, the back side of the tooth, maybe. And then we have the tooth root according to the calculation, 130.92, and tooth bending. Uh, so there's some nice information right here, right? Uh, now... We would have had to normally open this FEM viewer to see the graph, but now we don't need to do that. We can just go to graphics, FEM, and we want to look at the, uh, the FEM results. So here's our mesh. Okay. You can see our notch, grinding notch. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. I'm going to turn this properties tab on. Let me see a little bit more here. I'm not interested in seeing the, the mesh, um, so I'm going to turn that off right here. Now I don't have a mesh. I can see that notch a little bit better. I am interested in the results. So here I just have geometry, but I'm going to look at the plus minus 
So sine von Mises equivalent stress. All right. And then I have these, these values here, right? Max, min. If I toggle this over, and maybe I want my maximum to be 150, we'll call it 160, okay? And I want my minimum to be around 160. Now I have a color code right here. I can see where I have my, my stresses up here, my high stress on contact, it's a single tooth point, or single point high tooth contact. Here's my compression on the back side of the tooth, okay? And now here's my stress in the in the root area and in my grinding notch area, all right? Um, I can't quite get to the point where we uh, can select on here and grab a value, but what we can do is we can look at these values, and if and if you're worried about 80 or something, you could you could say a maximum of 80, um, and then you'll see that you know you're around 80 up in this area, and if you had a maximum of say 200, you know you can you can just play with these color gradients, but you can see that we're below. 110 in the notch so the notch maybe wouldn't be a factor for us here and you can see what this uh, the root area here is going to be in that eh, one I don't know. yeah in that 120 range right so this is a, a nice way it's easy you can see it's visual you can get a quick uh, a quick FE result using this method of calculation in the software uh, and then you can see right here, um, this is the calculation method, and this is the, uh, so this is the FEM results at the contact of the 30 degree tangent. So if you look at the standards, there's going to be a 30 degree tangent that they call it the critical point. <clears throat> you have the point with the greatest stress, 124, and then you have the point with the lowest stress, 155.94 at the tooth root. So this would be on the back side, I think, of the tooth. Okay, so just a quick, quick and uh, simple way to do an FE results <clears throat> on your designs, uh, especially with grinding notches. Uh, it's also really v valuable if you use it with uh, plastic gears too. So, and if you do, if you are interested in looking at this with plastic gears on the Kissoft Home YouTube page, I'll make a uh, a link to it. But there's a there's a nice plastic design demo they go through and, and how to optimize those gears and root stress so there you go fem much easier in 2020 than it has been and uh, they're just rolling out beta 2021 hopefully we can uh, get that in some people's hands and, and we can get some feedback thanks for watching